Hello, what's happening? It's your boy, the lag graphics. Thank you so much for coming back. If you are here, and if you are new here, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you when I drop a new video. So, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a double exposure in Corel Draw like this. Without further ado, let's get started. Alright, this is my Corel Draw, and this is the two images I'm gonna be using for this tutorial. So, the first thing I'm gonna need to do right now is to trim out the image with my pen tool so before that let me change my page size to a6 like this landscape like this then i'll go ahead and draw a rectangle right like this hit with my keyboard yeah i'll leave it that way so get rid of the outline but for now i'll just leave it that way so i'll send it to the back of my page going to page down like this then i'll try to scale this one up like this so i heard about my over here i'll just go ahead and pick this my pen tool over here like this so I'll, then i'll just go ahead and start tracing it from the side like this so in case you don't know how to use it, this pen tool, i'm going to drop a video soon on how to use this pen too. So just take your time and do it when I'm doing it like this. Yeah, just make sure you do it properly. I hope you have seen what I'm doing it right. So just make sure you take your time and do it just the way I'm doing it like this. Like I said, if you don't know how to use pen tool, I'm going to drop a video on how to use this pen tool and curl draw. Very simple step to start using it. Just make sure you follow the way I'm doing it step by step like this. If you're really sure you don't know how to use this pen tool, just make sure you watch this video I'm talking about. I'm going to drop it in my YouTube channel. Just make sure you watch it. Very simple step to start using it.
yeah so when you are done tracing the image like this let's go back to where it is this, it seems this place is not that small so i just highlight it like this then smooth in this place where it says smooth node like this yeah and i like it that way so i just select the image like this then right click on it and come over to this place where it says power clip i'll just power clip it inside the the part like this so i head over to my property bar this place where, where you have my uh, where I have my outline pen tool i'll click on the drop down arrow then select none to get rid of the outline and i have it that way so i'll position it this way over here like this so one thing i'm going to do now is to power clip this my mountain that I have over here inside my part so I'll right click on it then select power clip or better still right click then drag it to this your part where you have your part then release it at the same time so it's gonna pop up with this option to power clip it inside so I'm just gonna, I'm just going to select the power clip so, so either I duplicate so either I duplicate this my part over here like this or I'll go to this place where it says edit to open it up so I'll just try to position it where I want it yeah just take your time and do it properly so i'm gonna just i'm going to leave it this way so i'll double click on it sorry i'll come over to this place where it says edit i'll just open it up again like this then select the image like this control page drop control page up on your keyboard to bring it to top of it like this then head over to your menu bar where you have your effects then scroll all the way down to where you have your so this place where have adjustment then scroll all the way down to where you have the saturate and have it this way so i'm going to head over to my toolbar then select my transparent tool like this then drag it this like this i'm going to bring this one to this side take this one up it like this then bring this one like this Just go ahead and finish it like this. So I'm going to select this my my page, my project like this. So I'll get do what I'll get rid of the outline in my property bar where I have this my outline pen to click on the drop down arrow, select none to get rid of the outline. So now this time I'm going to sample a color from this side of the image that are part that are part clip inside my parts. So I'm going to watch I'll head over to my tools but we have my color eyedropper tool. Then sample a color from this side, then apply it like this. And have it that way. So you can just go ahead. If you see anything that you don't want to just you can just go ahead and open it up like this and try to adjust it. So this is how I was able to achieve the double exposure. I hope you like this video. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so as to be notified when I drop a new video. See you next time.